guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading uh, for March the 12th until the 19th. So I'm going to be doing a um, crystal ball. So that's what I did for the Divine Masculine. A very powerful reading. I, I definitely recommend that you guys watch that. There was a lot of synchronicities and that's what his um, energy was all about for the next week is being able to see opening up the consciousness. Okay, so the crystal ball is a 5x5 five five grid, uh, distant past, recent past, present, uh, near future, final outcome, four cornerstone cards which represent the main energy of the reading, and then one center card which is the main message or um, main vibration from the universe. Okay, first cornerstone card, distant past, page of pentacles. So it's cornerstone card, major energy. This is what you're beginning the reading with. This is what's surrounding you. Um, so the Page of Pentacles is sitting down, getting to work on manifesting a long-term goal in the 3D reality. But this is also about making a decision, committing to that decision, um, and you know, um, putting work and effort into it. Now this could be starting a new job, going back to school, having an idea and then, you know, um, putting plans into work in order to manifest it. And this could also be communication in 3D. So this is realizing um, in order to be successful, in order to achieve, you know, be all that you can be, you need to do a little bit more work. This could even be, uh, you know, working on yourself as well. Next is the star card, Hope. So this card comes after a very difficult period of time. Um, so this would be, you know, the tower coming down, this destruction, this, uh, these illusions being revealed. You know, your old identity, your old self um, burning to the ground. And after that, this healing vibration comes comes in to offer you hope for the future but also to help you heal the worst is over and this card also represents wish granted solar plexus chakra having courage strength willpower determination and it's exerting that energy onto the world um, in order to achieve something. So maybe you've, um, you feel like you've hit a milestone and it has empowered you. You committed to doing something in the 3D reality and you're starting to see it manifested. You're feeling hopeful. You've overcome this storm. I really like how we got that sun, you know, the starry night vibrant energy kind of being repeated over here as well okay next wow crown chakra so you got this card in the twin flame reading this is what you're bringing into the union and it was coupled with the nine of cups nine of cups is wish granted dreams fulfilled and through that feeling there's illumination so this was pretty much the the only positive vibration that I was feeling in the reading. Most of the energy that I was pulling out was mental, stuck in this mental prison. But in terms of the union, there's this illumination in, in love and feeling like your dreams are being fulfilled. But there's still this mental um, activity that is pulling you into negative space. And it might not even have to do with the masculine. 
but you've discovered some great truths about yourself and conquered your fears. Okay, cornerstone card. Wow, the King of Cups has showed up as a crowning energy in the union. So this could be you um, giving unconditional love, feeling unconditional love for your masculine, for all, but having balanced mentally and emotionally. And this is somebody who loves very deeply as well. So the cornerstone card is this king of love, you know, and I'm feeling a lot of self-love here, especially with the, the hope card. Through working on yourself, you know, finding peace and, and stillness within your, yourself and allowing your heart to heal, you discover this power and illumination and able to give love for, for all and for your masculine. Um, or maybe you discover a truth about the masculine. So near future, or sorry, near recent past is the Seven of Pentacles, contemplation. So this is work and effort being put into something and while you're waiting for those dreams to manifest, you're thinking about the future, you're thinking about the past, you're making plans. Um, but it's a forced pause. And this pause is meant to stop you so that you can avoid pitfalls in, in the future and you know see where your time and energy is best uh, placed. Next, patience. Wow, the masculine got this card in the same row. And this was the overall energy card for the Twin Flame reading. Patience, finding stillness, being in the now, having balance in all areas of your life. So we see earth, air, fire, um, ether, and water all being represented, all elements, including the soul. So through that stillness, she is reconnected and she is able to you know, she's being represented as this angel who's patiently waiting, right, in both these cards here. And through that wait, she's able to heal herself and discover some truth about herself. King of Swords. So we got two kings. So the king is uh, air, water, earth. Oh, just one minute. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, um, the King of Swords, Air. Now, this is somebody who arrives at this um, mental clarity, makes a decision, um, discovers a truth. Um, they cut down barriers. They take action. So this could be you, the feminine, embodying this energy, just as you would the King of Cups reaching this pinnacle of achievement in terms of um, finding balance. And this could also represent the masculine, you know, being um, emotionally detached, right? This is all air, this is all thought, mind. So let me just give that a little shuffle. Oh. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so the Eight of Cups came flying out. So I'm going to choose that as the next card. And just, just, no, I think the camera's okay the way it is. Okay, so the Eight of Cups, let me just shuffle it a little bit more, um, is walking away from an emotionally draining situation. And. We saw that being represented in the Twin Flame reading as well. It was the Five of Swords conflict and defeat with the Seven of Swords. So there was this movement away from a negative entity or energy um, and embarking on a spiritual journey. Now, this could be the masculine being emotionally detached, feeling like he's walking away. 
you needing to turn your back on the situation, right? Your back is being represented in both those cards. Uh, and also in the Eight of Cups, turning your back in order to just to regain your emotional balance, right? The, the King of Cups was your crowning energy. You want to be able to feel love and express love, right? But this is somebody who is not emotionally manipulated, whereas this is about emotional manipulation. Somebody who's cold-hearted, shut off. So let's just continue on. Next is the Eight of Wands, communication, texting, Cupid's arrows. But this is uh, an energy or vibration that is rising, ex acceleration. It's seeing the finish line and being excited about it that, you know, you put the pe pedal to the metal, basically. So after some period of time, the feminine may have reached out to the masculine or the masculine may have reached out to her where, you know, he was, may have been emotionally detached in the past and that may have prompted you to get answers or, you know, we got this loving energy coming from the past, feeling this vibration in the 5D and it's helping you to heal, to find power and then reconnecting with that vibration and it, that vibration is building, right? Um, after a period of healing, you discover truth, you walk away or you release a barrier, an emotional restriction that allows you to open up, either to communicate, because we got the, the master of communication is the king of swords, or maybe the masculine reached out to you, overcome, overcame his fear of, of you know, being the King of Cups and texted or communicated. I don't know. So in the present moment, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles, um, you know, the page would take that Ace and start building on it, start planning. You know, this is an opportunity. It's a windfall card. It's abundance. So we have a weight occurring there. After a long wait, maybe somebody arrives, right? This is love coming towards you or being sent out. So the ace is that energy being returned to you. So whatever you're working on comes back in a generous way. And so you're able to, you know, build upon that. So this could be a brand new beginning in the 3D reality as well. Wow, the sun. This card kept on showing up in the masculine reading. New beginnings. Um, feeling free, innocent, you know, um, just being excited about life, dancing around. So whatever this opportunity is, this offer, this um, insight that comes from connecting with your soul, it sets your soul on fire, I guess, right? Um, so if an opportunity hasn't arrived, there's a sense that there's something coming towards you that is that you've been waiting a long time for. So the next card is the main message from the universe, zero point. Wow, the hermit. So the hermit is somebody who goes on a spiritual journey. Right, so we see this movement away, this movement of disconnecting emotionally, and and then a return in the masculine reading. This hermit played a, you know, intricate part in both the twin flame and masculine reading. There's a sense of him leaving and returning, coming. The main message in the the uh, masculine reading was to come out of solitude, to to participate. Now this could also be you feeling this vibrant energy, your soul being lit within, finding your light within, but discovering some great truths. 
Now it's a message from the universe, it's the main energy, the main focus is on the hermit. So well let's continue on, that's earth energy there. Next is the four of cups, this was the foundation card shared between the two aspects in the twin flame. Now so this is somebody looking out the window, longing, feeling maybe they missed an opportunity, it's right below the eight of cups there. You know, these two energies are looking at each other, both disconnected. One is feeling alone or purposely disconnecting or avoiding walking away from a situation that they're, they, um, you know, that they need to think about. Whereas the solitude card, Hermit, is seeking solitude for spiritual growth, not being manipulated by the 3D reality. And, but they're looking at each other. All right, so let's continue. Death, oh my God. The feminine had this in a present moment for the twin flame reading, another cool synchronicity. Death of the ego, a major transformation. So overcoming fears, leaving the past behind, cutting away these, these emotional blockages. You know, um, the butterfly rising from the chrysalis. So in the present moment, a strong energy feminine of you guys going through a transformation. So we got rebirth twice with a new beginning. All right, so near future, my God, 1111. The masculine got this card in his present moment. So what you were waiting for manifests as a you know twin flame connection or you make a realization you know synchronicity brings you a message that was a very strong um, message on the masculine side right because you got message in a bottle as a final message from the universe so if you know you go through that transformation maybe you are reborn into the twin flame you see the twin flame connection in a different way. A new opportunity arises. Next. Nine of swords. Wow, this card came in reverse as a final outcome. Another synchronicity. So being trapped by fear, thoughts. It also came with the eight of swords and I pulled... Um, Ooh, ouch. Uh, I pulled a card from the Osho Zen. I can't remember what it was. Um, but anyway, you know, you are, you are the one that holds the key to releasing yourself from this state of mind. So the nine is completion, nearing the completion. So maybe you've been thinking a lot about this connection and that did show in the twin flame. Worried about something. Next, Four of Pentacles, somebody being closed off, right? And the message from the universe was for you to be open, wide open. Again, repeated message of opening yourself up. So this could be you being, you know, getting that double dose of solitude. Over here is solitude as well, kind of a, is a mirroring actually. This is a feminine energy mirroring a masculine energy and vice versa and they both seem to be facing each other as well interesting curiouser and curiouser get in there okay well I can't put those back in so how about I embrace there we go okay so open up or it could be the masculine being closed off. Wow, Ten of Wands, the masculine got this in the near future for the masculine reading. So this is Ten, completion, the ending of feeling burdened. Worrying about something, tossing and turning. Um, you know, dreading that alarm clock ringing because you haven't slept yet. And, you know, having to continuously 
do something that brings you no joy day in and day out. So, you know, that's right below the, the Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. So, the, again, I feel this putting a past behind you. It, get, it comes to this climatic moment. Um, again, a transformation or a rebirth, right? The Phoenix rising. Next. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Ladies, what's going on? So, I'm going to pull a no-show zen for that card. What do you mean by this cluster of spirit? Please give us some insight. With such a positive card over in the corner there, the 1111, right? Isolation. Wow, are you isolating yourself? Pretty obvious that some of you guys are. So let me read that. The Three of Swords is the same card over here. Oh my God! Okay, and the three are the King of Cups. When I was reading the Divine Masculine reading, I, I this card caught my eye, and then uh, it did the same thing again as I was looking for the Three of Swords. And then I'm like, well, what, why is the King of Cups showing up? And the King of Cups was a crowning energy for the Twin Flame. So that's a healing, All right? And I can read it to you guys as well. So let me just read this real quick. So for the Twin Flame reading, you guys are developing this shell, this cold, um, like metal armor, and, and you're being reborn from that. So, but be careful not to isolate yourself for the wrong reasons. Don't close yourself off. So in our society, men in particular have been taught not to cry, to put on a brave face, to put a brave face on things when they get hurt and not to show their pain. But women can fall into the same trap too, and all of us at one time or another might feel that the only way to survive is to close off our feelings and emotions um, so we can't be hurt again. And then, and there we have that closing off, that detachment, that now it's all starting to make sense. You are isolating yourself there, you are isolating yourself here, you are isolating yourself here, and you're isolating yourself here. If our pain is particularly deep, we might even try to hide it from ourselves. This can make us frozen, rigid, because deep down we know that one small break in the ice will free the hurt to start circulating through us again. And, and there's that you know, want, being in a, a prison, closing yourself off, not wanting to let yourself in because you're afraid to get hurt again. You know, there's this um, definite, wow, oh my God, guys, this is incredible. Do you see it? The synchronicity is amazing. The King of Swords is the Ice King. That's a nickname for him. So the rainbow colored tears on this person's face hold the key to breaking out of this isolation. The tears and only the tears have the power to melt the ice. It's okay to cry. Uh, there is no reason to feel ashamed of your tears. Crying helps us let go of the pain, allows us to be gentle with ourselves and finally help us to heal. Wow. That's so powerful. and. The pain is coming from the twin flame connection, right? You're closing yourself off to it. You need to open again, wide open. Okay, so final row, cornerstone card, ace of cups. So this card comes with conditions. It only shows up when you're ready to let love into your life, true love. So it means you have to heal yourself. You have to let go of the past feel unconditional love and that's what's coming new beginning of love and we got two aces here on either side of the 1111 card cool next two of swords there's that indecision that was showing up in the near future for the twin flame so feeling like you're at a crossroads 
Right? One leads towards love, the other leads towards being closed off again. So you need to make that decision to release yourself from that mental prison. Next. Five of Cups, feel those, um, feel that pain. Um, feel that, you know, tears are like healing rain, right? That's the only way that you can heal from the wounds. So face your fears. Don't avoid, don't shut yourself off. Next is, wow, the moon showed up as a final, was it the final outcome? Yes, it was. That's what the final outcome was for the Zen card that I forgot about. Of course, it shows up when the message is important, right? So look to the past life. Definitely watch that, that Twin Flame reading because it was talking about not being able to let go of the past and gaining great illumination from it as a result. Face your fears. Those things that are left hidden, the shadow side. Final cornerstone card. What? Two of cups. Oh my God. The masculine got the same card, but it was in this position. Oh my God. Guys, cornerstone card. Spiritual union. So, heart chakra activation awakens the consciousness, recognizing your twin flame. So the feminine are coming to the same position as the masculine, but you're coming at it from different angles. Feminine, you're opening up. The masculine is, um, you know, you're opening up your heart, you're forgiving, letting go of the past, while the masculine is awakening in his consciousness and you arrive at the same wholeness that's, that's so beautiful. Okay, so I pulled a, an Osho Zen as the final message from the universe, so I will do the same. Stop. Ordinariness. So this is being at peace with all that's around you, finding... Um, you know, just being in the moment, um, being present when you're, you're doing things, you know, and, and that's a good way to get out of the mind. Take pleasure in washing the dishes, <laughs> you know, oops. Okay. Sometimes it happens that you become one. In some rare moment, watch the ocean, the tremendous wildness of it. And suddenly you forget your split, your schizophrenia, your, you relax. Wow, the schizophrenia, the split mind. Okay, so very cool synchronicity, guys, because that's your blockage. Or moving in the Himalayas, seeing the virgin snow on the Himalayan peaks. Suddenly, a coolness surrounds you, and you need not be false, because there is no other human being uh, to be false to. You fall together. Or listening to beautiful music, you fall together. Whenever, in whatever situation, you become one, a peace, a happiness, a bliss surrounds you, arises you arises in you. You feel fulfilled. There is no need to wait for these moments. These moments can become your natural life. These extraordinary moments can become ordinary moments. That is the whole effort of Zen. You can live an extraordinary life in a very ordinary life. Cutting wood, chopping wood, carrying water from the well. You can be tremendously at ease with yourself, cleaning the floor, cooking food, washing clothes, you can be perfectly at ease. Because the whole question is of you doing your action totally, enjoying, delighting in it. Perfect. So I do hope you enjoyed this. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Cheers. Oh, comment. Please do comment. All right, cheers.